everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts with a new camera angle a little bit because we're watching The Flash, not live, but kind of live, but it's on the CW app. But anyways, this is uh, The Flash Season 6, Episode 3, Dead Man Running. The ghost is actually here for this video. Yay! 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 Our favorite show. Sorry, I was looking up at myself because I can see myself right there because I have the HDMI plugged in so we can watch the episode together on the computer. Um, I'm really enjoying, enjoying season six so far. I think that they're doing a pretty good job with, um, setting up everybody and apparently giving Killer Frost, Frost, like, more to do. Like, she's actually gonna have a I, life. I really like that they're, like, bringing Killer Frost. As Frost. They kind of put Caitlyn away. Yeah, they did. They um, brought out Killer Frost, which I really like. I'm fine with it because we've seen a lot of Caitlyn. Then we've seen her kind of dealing with Killer Frost. And now it's just like, give Killer Frost some time to shine. Yeah. So I kind of like that, honestly. Um, well, at the end of the last episode, they had an after credit scene because Bloodwork was buying another illegal weapon to inject him. I guess inject himself more because he had prevented that some sort of whatever disease his mom had. Oh, what? No, no, no. Yeah, now yeah. she... <laughs> and then... He, without really doing anything, he, like, attacks that guy. And then yeah. the guy rises up and attacks him. So I'm thinking, That's, yeah, I that might know. be the dead man running? That'd be interesting. I don't know. Just saying, they want to buy more merch. Sorry, I have to promote merch. I, I really like this shirt. I like all the shirts. Now, this is your personal favorite. That's my favorite, yeah. Yeah. I think it's fucking awesome. Um... Yeah, I'm excited. I, I want to see more of the suit. The new suit. Because, like, the, the new Flash suit is so good, and we haven't seen enough of it. So have bits and pieces. I need to see more. Uh, and, of course, in the last episode, he saw himself die. Yeah, he saw, like, everybody. Everybody. Well, everybody on his show. They couldn't show everybody from the other shows, but... Yeah, he saw, everybody from his show. He saw, say, billions of timelines or something, or millions? Yeah, billions. Billions. And the only one that they survived is that he dies. Once again, telling me he's going to kill himself in the third episode before the cliffhanger. I'm assuming a cliffhanger. And then within the last two episodes of Crisis in January, he's going to come back. Because all of it. That's my guess. So, anyways, we're done rambling. We're going to jump to the episode and watch it now, guys. So, uh, let's get into it and see what it's all about. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> he just dropped straight down. And it's not coming in 2024. It's coming December 10th. 2019. Mm -hmm. The jackass fly. I saw a giant. Wave of anti-matter sweeping over our yep. across all of Central City, everybody. I'll mark my calendar. We still have seven weeks to make sure none of this happens. <laughs> Asbury's right. Mom? Ronnie! Mom? Oh, what? Have we ever seen her before? I don't think so. 14 allegations, not a single charge. Miss Perfect Timeline. Uh, we haven't found enough body parts to determine which crew did all this. Jesus. Covering claw marks. An animal did this. Good to go? No. Can you analyze what's going on with her? Yeah. I charge for dark matter. Mm. Oh, I'm Who would kill for dark matter? A coward. She knows. Maybe. Oh, hello. Kate? No. You don't kill a frost. Actually, she's me. So frost. I am so. What happened to your lab? Well, um, let's not go there. Somebody right? broke in while I was working late. Yeah, don't worry about it. From an old colleague, Ted Cord, he was actually willing to help me with my research. They keep mentioning him. Someone's out there hunting for dark. Would you help us, Dr. Rousseau? Please. Ramsey. Okay, Ramsey. Get this. Harrison Wells is alive. New. I forgot. We haven't got. We got them yet. Because he was a feisty one in the trailer. Yeah. He was a feisty one. Feisty. 
You can have the footage. Oh, great. For 5,000 bucks. I'm sorry, what? What? Earn it. Watch me do it. Okay. So, Just gambling time, I guess. I hope you understand if there's any chance of saving more lives. You're gonna take it. I didn't want to go behind your back, but you refused to help me. Not with Sam. And you Damn. never told me that you were a meta. Why rob yourself and then kill all your employees? Because he's not himself anymore. He's a zombie or something. Yep. <laughs> That didn't work. Damn. He's not dead. Don't worry. Calm down. Romero is fine. He just got up and walked away. Not happen again. What? Now you're telling me how to feel? Oh. I've had seven weeks to teach you how to handle this kind of situation. You have to start listening. She's cheating. That's not, that's not inconspicuous at all. Ugh, it's, it's weird to watch. He's more monster now than that. The more dark matter I understand that. He gets. He's like a fucking monster to me. If I could observe Romero's genes interacting with dark matter, I might be able to find no. a way to counteract his condition. <laughs> no. You're like, no. It's not right. happening. What in the world? That's the way to answer. My name is Cisco Ramon. Why are you following me? To get your hands on this price is purely as that why go ahead. It gives me my hallucinations. What's your name? I'm Miss West Tower. Well, you said he died in a car accident months ago. What about your other boyfriends? How many of them are alive? Hmm. All? Jesus! What really happened? Wasn't what it happened? weird that all of her boyfriends died? People would look into that. I can't believe you can't get to work here. Well, you're not gonna believe who he is. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's another one downstairs. Okay. Don't leave him. Don't bury him. Barry, don't leave him alone with it! No. Oh. I'm feeling a bunch of Damn. No, I can make you go with them. Like you said, I'm a desperate man. I have nothing to lose. I know what it's like to lose your mother. It sure does. My mom had that same look on her face when she was first diagnosed. You're a dead man too, aren't you, Barry? So why don't you fight for yourself? Here you go, Burr. You're a dead man too, aren't you, Barry? Chase you once before, and I'm happy to do it again. So just I let you do that. No, hold still. I let you do that. What are you doing? Attorney, that's a multiversal element. Hmm. Right, although the readings were, we've actually done this dance before. Yeah. yeah. That's right. It usually starts off rocky. So... What in the hell? Does she know about the multiverse? Uh-oh. She kind of does now. Yeah. I'll handle it. I don't want to die when I've just started living. Okay? Maybe I thought you have the chance. Do you know that Baskin Robbins has 31 different flavors? I might die before I get to figure out which one is my favorite. So what, everybody feels this crappy all the time? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. I want to spend the rest of today making Sleeping. sure that Mitch Romero doesn't hurt anyone else. Sleeping? <laughs> Barry knows that he took those two vials and gave it back, but they're letting him just chill by himself now. Guy. Of course he broke in. Of course he did. Dark matter. Jesus. It's copying his moves. Because he created them. Why was he trying to kill him? 
Probably didn't realize it at first. This is awkward. That's creepy as hell. This guy is just creepy. Let's hold hands! He's gonna break out of that. Damn! He broke out! Yes. I thought Ramsey's nowhere near, near this at all. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. He doesn't want to talk. See the next slide back. An addendum for the book of Ralph. Of course, the book of Ralph. Always got to bring that into play. I believe I found an effective cure for HLH. Have you? It's following him. <laughs> that dance man was doing? Really? What the hell is going on? You're not gonna be at my birthday party next year, are you? No, ma'am. Whenever you talk about life after crisis, you never talk about yourself. When I projected my mind forward, I saw billions of possible futures. Yeah. I have to die in crisis. Ah! None of you can try and save me. I'll die. I'll die. take his place? There. I don't know. That's crazy. It was. That's kind of a weird after credit scene though, because I was expecting more, you know what I'm saying? Like he went back to that alleyway and just said, it's, lifted it's, up a grate. It's down there. What is? I mean the the thing he's searching, I know they said it, but what specifically is down there that's causing that thing to go his off? Mind. My first thought your his mind. In the gutters. Ah! Is that, was that the joke? No? Whatever. I really enjoyed this episode. <laughs> I honestly thought for a second, Grodd. Grodd. Big monkey. Oh no, maybe. Um, but no. So, my complaint from the last episode, I don't know if you remember, was that... I know. I have a couple. Sorry. My, my complaint was that in the last episode... Blood work was barely in it. Ramsey was barely in the episode. And he's the only, he's only the villain up to Crisis, then after that, someone else. So, like, we gotta get to freaking Ramsey. We gotta get to him, and they actually did. A lot of the episode was with him. I don't know why you complain. Because they it'll should. Become, it'll come from that. Um, it, that, that's, my, that's my true. That, that's me. That's you? That is me. Barry's the Flash. I'm whatever the fuck that was. Okay, good. <laughs> um, so Barry finally met him, and he saw right away that Ramsey's not to be trusted, which I'm kind of glad that happened because Caitlin, well, Frost in this instance, knows right away this guy is not good news because he lied, and he he was being all nice about his mom, but he really wasn't. He's a piece of shit. So I like the fact that Barry saw right away, and I like I like the little trick he did. He's like, oh, I gotta go and grab this thing. And he leaves Ramsey alone for one second, and he's instantly starting to take stuff and put it in his bag. And Barry caught him. Now, here's what's also weird, too. After this moment, he does get the vials back. Okay, a little positive. But then they leave him alone in the room again to do testing, and Barry's running around, like, in the same building, he's running around training... He's just running in circles and he's flashing back to all the stuff that the monitor was telling him. It's like, Rams, you could just walk in at any moment and see Barry running around. <laughs> and then all that with, uh, what are, I'm just going to call him the zombie, because that's what he was, essentially. A creation of blood work. Like, they killed him. They literally killed that. They, they killed that they guy. They exploded him. He exploded he was everywhere. Walls. On the Every ground, he was on them. in their hands. It was just. Ugh. But Ramsey never walked in once. No. And noticed. Well, first of all, he knows that Caitlin and, and Frost are the same. I always say Killer Frost. She's going by Frost. Rebranding, as she said. I'm rebranding myself. Um. 
we got to meet the new Wells, who seemed like Indiana Jones, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> like, and, and I like the fact that um, Iris is like, I'll tase you again. He's like, I'll let you. I guess see, a, a good I'll sleep. Let her. Is it a good sleep or something? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I honestly was ex- expecting more from him. But I think he's going to be around maybe the whole season, so maybe we just don't need to see enough. Like we don't need to see a lot right away. But it's only the third episode. Give it. Well, yeah, but it's usually okay. by this point, when we meet a new Wells, it's like they they spend a lot of time in the first episode of introducing a new Wells to have the character interact with other people. He's only interacted with Iris and Cisco, and he <laughs> got tased. <laughs> he's some sort of smoke trick to get out. I don't know. I need to see more. But I like the fact that he's... He seems like he's completely different than the other Wells we've seen so far. Like, he doesn't seem like this... He doesn't seem like a similar version in a sense. But, uh... Yeah. Intriguing. Intriguing. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. So, Barry... Finally told everybody the truth. Well, not everybody. Joe wasn't there. Cecile wasn't there. There's, There's a few people that don't... Joe needs to be told! Yeah, he does. Hey, dad, other dad, deuces. I'm, <laughs> I'm dying. I'm gonna go sacrifice myself for the for the multiverse. Bah. Um. So that's it. so I feel like they should have done that. Another B plot, Ralph's mom. Which that was d- just a strange thing that happened. I wasn't expecting that. Like I'm sitting there going like, okay, so we're introducing the mom. And now there's more layers to it because so the, the, she said the dad left. Do you believe that he actually left? Mm, possibly. But she lied about everything else, though. But she says, oh, it's good to protect you. But, yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, I can see it. If he was super, like, curious about why he left or where he went, like, she wouldn't want to have to go through that herself again. I don't want to have Ralph keep going through it. Yeah. I, I just feel like it was a, it was a really interesting an interesting thing to throw into this episode. I didn't really get to see the point in it at all. Besides, no point. Out another one of Ralph's books. Another version of his book. Because yeah. <laughs> um, because he first introduced it, I think in this season with Frost with because when she was like gonna have her own life, giving her a birthday party was kind of ni- kind of nice. Yeah. I did. The, the guest list seemed like just people that she knew back when she was a villain. Yeah. <laughs> so, and they're all in Star Labs. Just, Jones. she literally exposed. This is where a killer, she hangs out in Star Labs. And you guys can just show up. Why not have it at like Jitters or whatever? Like, I feel like you've been to Jitters all the fucking time. So? We're always in Star Labs too, so there's no complaint. It's 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 a valid argument. How come we didn't have it at some Why random? Why don't you just go to a bar? Get, go someplace you've never been to before. I don't know. Um, it was interesting as well to destroy the zombie when literally, instead of Barry putting on the suit, typical fighting the bad guy, he just overloads him with dark matter and he's just speeding around, but he's not wearing the suit, just chilling. It's a very interesting way to end the villain he of the week. The suit like two seconds, yeah, barely in it. But I love the suit. I do love it. I really hope we see a lot of more of it. Before and during crisis. Cause he's going to decide to die in his street clothes. He's going to sacrifice his own. In street clothes, revealing himself to the world. Or maybe he's dying, why not? That's true. He thinks I ain't coming back. Well, Oliver's going to bring you back. That's my guess. Uh, what else happened? More specifically. I mean, they're just showing more and more of how Ramsey's diving into madness. That's really it. Besides what? Uh, besides all the things we, all, we also covered. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like that's about it. Really. Well, that girl that uh, Cecile got to work uh, to be an intern. Oh yeah, that prisoner. I didn't think she, I, I thought that once they introduced her, we were never gonna see her again. So the fact that she's an intern, she's actually a part of Iris's paper. Interesting. Um, and then she saw. Now she knows a little something. It's like you know that you know Harrison Wells. Like, well, no, not this one, but uh. Several other ones. Several others for years and years. But yeah, overall, pretty good. Pretty good. I definitely think out of the four episodes, Arrow was the best one this this week of shows. I wouldn't know. Oh, I know. She's behind all stuff. I haven't seen a 
at the server area. You'll be okay. Anyways, guys, that's the reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you guys soon. Peace out.